So the last short little lecture we have here is about the flow of blood through the heart. I figured we'd start off and describe blood vessels quickly. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood to the heart. Now it's important to realize that people are always like, oh, veins carry deoxygenated blood, arteries carry oxygenated blood. And you're going to see the example where that is not true. So it's important to know it's a directional. Arteries away, veins toward the heart. Now the chambers of the heart, the atria, receive the blood and the ventricles pump it away, whether it's receiving from the body or whether it's receiving from the lungs or whether it's sending to the body or sending to the lungs. Okay, so the atria receive the blood and the ventricles will pump it away. And then lastly, before we get into the breakdown, uh, valves prevent the backflow of blood in the heart. So it's always moving forward so that you don't have a mix of blood. So when blood comes from the body, uh, it enters it comes from the body to the superior or inferior vena cava. If it's coming from above the heart, superior vena cava. If it's coming from below the heart, inferior vena cava. And those both empty into the right atrium. Now, you notice that I've used blue here. Remember, we talked about blood isn't actually blue in color, but it's easier to understand blue deoxygenated than if I showed red and a darker color of red. So this just helps you to separate a little bit more as deoxygenate and oxygenate. Just again, as long as we understand that it's not accurate, it's just used to help you better understand it. So with the right atrium, before it can go into the right ventricle, it has to move through the tricuspid valve. Now, if you notice on this diagram, you're seeing the right atrium and the right ventricle are on the left side of the heart. So the pictures of hearts are always going to be as if you're looking at a person you're giving surgery to, okay? Because if you were to lay down, uh, usually when we do this in class, I stand in front of the board and have it project right onto the middle of my chest and hold up my right hand, and you see that the right side is on the right side. So imagine this is on a person that's having open heart surgery or somebody laying down in front of you, and that is why the right is on the left side. Okay, so it's not your heart; it's a mirror image, or it would would be a reversed image. Okay, it'd be somebody laying down. So the right atrium goes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, and then the right ventricle. It moves through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary artery. So here's an example of an artery with deoxygenated blood. Now, from the pulmonary artery, it's going to go to the lungs. At the lungs, it receives oxygen. Once it receives its oxygen, it comes via the pulmonary veins, again, veins with oxygenated blood, into the left atrium, the left receiving chamber. Then it moves through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle, the strongest uh, of it because of the heart, the strongest chamber, because it has to pump the furthest, pumps, goes through the aortic semilunar valve, into the aorta, and then goes to the body.